So a question for Shalab, uh, in your opinion, what are the key challenges that company face when they're implementing trans trans transparency measures in their supply chains? Yeah, and I think um, um, a lot many challenges uh, which we have seen practically with uh, uh, some of our solutions uh, uh, when they get deployed, uh, whether upstream, downstream. Uh, so one big challenge is the data privacy and security itself, right? Uh, the companies are trying to protect their sensitive information, but at the same time, they're also uh, trying to comply with all the regulations around, uh, new regulations around transparency in their supply chains. Um, uh, and uh, uh, then there are some data protection laws which conflict uh, with th those kind of things, right? Um, the other challenge is the overall complexity of uh, uh, integrating any technology, like for example, blockchain, which is often uh, a technology which is um, kind of suggested to build uh, traceability in the supply chain, but that requires significant amount of investment, collaboration, uh, I would say expertise uh, between different stakeholders to successfully deploy that uh, kind of solution. Um, then the overall fragmentation of the supply chain itself, right? It's it's become very difficult to get accurate data on your multiple tiers of suppliers. And that's why I think some of the supply chain mapping solutions become very important when we are talking about um, uh, traceability or transparency. And um, there are other operational issues, like obviously everyone has its own incentive. Uh, there uh, some degree of uh, discretion and there's some degree of resistance from partners who might not be willing to uh, adopt transparency measures, right? I mean, maybe because of some some kind of uh, business incentives, right? Um, and then uh, maintaining the uh, consistency in that in the data, the standardization in the data across the entire supply chain uh, becomes becomes challenging. So yeah, I think there are a couple of challenges. Uh, which often need to be uh, passed through before a uh, real transparent or traceable supply chain to be put into place. Yeah, if, I, if I can add to, to this, uh, you know, uh, traceability is not cheap to implement. Uh, yeah. Let's say, let's take an example of a, a brand, of a group of brand in the uh, apparel uh, sector. They say, okay, we want to have our, our cotton uh, traceable. Uh, from the cotton field to our uh, retail store. And, and, and then you have a, a mid-tier suppliers, let's say, uh, that they are doing uh, some, uh, I don't know, zipper and button and base in Bangladesh. And, and then they receive uh, a request to implement a traceability system so that we know uh, what is what their, the input materials they are buying, how they process the input materials and link the input materials to the output materials and transportation, which is the, 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 the foundation of traceability. But then this, this, this company say, wow, this is interesting, but your, your, your group of buyers represent only 3% of my annual sales. And you're asking to implement a system that will cost maybe between eight, 80, 80K and, and with running costs of uh, 30K per, per year, for three percent of my sale, sorry, but I prefer to sell to somebody else. So yeah. sometimes we 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 uh, underestimate the economical consequence for mid tier suppliers uh, yeah. to uh, implement traceability solutions that are have been decided or, or, or at a higher or more uh, downstream level. 